Hello. Hello. <laughs> Greetings. We have five minutes for us, so let's get this started. Up in here. Up in here. Why do I do that? Today we are going to be talking about passive aggressiveness. And if you're not really sure what passive aggressiveness is, it's essentially when someone is kind of like attacking someone else or not being nice to someone else in a passive way. So they're not saying it outright to someone. They're kind of beating around the bush and being a little bit vague and not being direct. So it may not be directly pointed at that person like, hey, Josh, I think you're a poop head. It's something that kind of just skirts around uh, the person. So this is something that I think is an interesting topic because I have definitely experienced it a lot throughout my life. I am not a passive aggressive person. I know I've definitely had moments where I've been passive aggressive, but I think they're very few and far between. I'm someone who does not respond to passive aggressiveness well. It makes me feel really awkward and uncomfortable, whether the person is in the room with me, whether I have nothing to do with the situation and I'm witnessing somebody else be passive aggressive towards another human being. It just makes me feel really awkward in general. Even when it's online, it makes me feel uncomfortable. Whether it's somebody subtweeting about somebody else and I don't even know who that somebody else is, it just makes me feel like, what is happening here? Like, that's what it makes me feel like. And so the way that I've dealt with people who have been passive aggressive towards me is I just try to be as direct as possible without being cruel or malicious or anything like that. It's just coming out of the woodwork and letting them know that you want to solve whatever issue they have. And it's about solutions. It's not about talking about the problem over and over and over and over and over again. It's about finding some kind of common ground, even if that common ground is we agree to just disagree. I'm a person that can sometimes have a little trouble expressing my feelings verbally. Verbally. I like to express myself through writing because I feel like I'm really able to flesh out my thoughts, get it down on paper, and be really thoughtful about things because I'm also someone that doesn't really love confronting people either, but I've just learned to not be afraid of conflict because usually for the most part, there's no conflict that actually happens. It's just getting over that hump and just putting your thoughts and your feelings out there and working it out together. And if conflict does happen and the person doesn't respond well, then maybe that's a time where you should rethink if that person should be in your life if they're going to respond that way and not realize how they're responding and treating you when you want to solve a situation. All in all, I think that passive aggressiveness is something that just happens and I don't think there's any way to completely stop it, but I also think that it's an ineffective way of communicating because you're not actually communicating and you're bottling things up even though you might be expressing them in a certain way. It could be vague to someone or they may not even realize that it's directed at them, or you could be saying something that you're not actually directing at someone and they take it as an attack towards them, even though you meant it for someone else. So it just causes a lot of confusion and it's not an effective way to communicate. An effective way to communicate is to get together and find a solution directly. Not beating around the bush, that's it. Just work it out. Don't be afraid of conflict. If conflict happens, it happens. Time to rethink. So that's it on passive aggressiveness. Hopefully if any of you are dealing with this personally, whether you're trying to improve yourself or trying to figure out a situation, I hope this helped you. And next week, to lighten things up a little bit, we're gonna be talking about emojis that we didn't know existed and emojis that should exist. So get ready, because it's gonna be really fun and I wanna know which ones you guys didn't know about and which ones you think should exist. So let me know using the hashtag 5MFU. Here's what you guys thought about last week's conversation and I'll see you next week. Peace out.
That was really strange. 